Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Toyota RAV4 Limited with Technology. Now the most notable features with Limited with Technology is its power moonroof. You also have your blind spot monitoring along with your rear parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Toyota RAV4 Limited with Technology. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this limited with technology is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just over on the sides here, you'll see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, vortex generators. And then on the inside of the mirror here you will see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it will actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. You also have your smart key system, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you'll see your mirror controls, traction control on and off, blind spot marring on and off, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, mode select, back, Bluetooth, voice recognition display, and cruise control. Now you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is push your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here, which include your odometer reading, you have an exterior temperature gauge, and if you hit the display button on your steering wheel, you'll find your trip info as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options which include your hazard lights, your parking sensors on and off, you also have your lane departure alert just over here as well. And then down below you have your apps menu which will have your navigation, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You do have the premium JBL sound system, your dual zone climate control, Eco and Sport Mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper DIs for USB and auxiliary input, and your two power outlets. Now it's mounted to an automatic transmission. If we take a look just at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror, and you'll also find your open and close for your power moonroof with your tilt up and down feature. Now if we just put this into reverse here, I'm just going to show you what your backup camera looks like. So as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your tailgate. You'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side, your rear parking sensors just located right across and then just underneath your Toyota emblem you'll find your rear hatch release. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now if you do need some more additional space you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat and then you also have some under the floor storage space where you can hide away some of your valuables and taking a look underneath the floor once more you'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit. so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located. Now the other thing I like is that you do have the power adjustable tailgates so in the event that you need to readjust the height for yourself hold down the button for approximately two seconds of height you'd like it at it'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again it'll open up to this height for you. However if you want to reset the height for yourself hold down the button for more than four seconds It'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. A couple of the uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2014 Toyota RAV4 Limited with technology, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.